بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم ما بعد الله جل جلاله و has sent us for a purpose a believer will be tested and this test is for our progress not retrogression an exam in an exam room is there to see that the students pass those that know their work will pass easily and they will move up the ladder la tublawna fi amwalikum wa anfusikum exam tests trials will come with regards to your wealth and yourselves wa la nablawnakum bi shay'in min al khawfi fear situations where you wouldn't sleep you'll be restless you'll be worried you'll be anxious you'll be overwhelmed well you possibility of food reserves decreasing no replacement no replenishment what's going to happen tomorrow hunger wa naqsim min al amwal your wealth yourselves all will be at risk you may get injured your family may get injured somebody may become shaheed wa thamarat your properties may be destroyed your homes may be looted you may lose all your possessions what should you be doing at the time that's the imtihan that's the exam room wa bashir is sabirin give clear tidings to those people who are patient what do they do alladhina idha asabathum musiba when all of these trials and difficulties come qalu inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun we belong to allah all our possessions belong to allah this will have to go one day we'll have to go to allah so we will prepare for that then you get the reward the prize the pass the high grade higher grade a plus exemption ulaik alayhim salawatun mir rabbim wa rahma these are those people whom the blessings of allah will descend and the mercy of allah so matter what the condition if we want the mercy of allah wa ulaik humul muhtadun and these are the people who in that condition they will get closer and go closer to allah so for this exam the trial the tribulation we need to look at our script what's the constitution for the people of iman it is only quran and hadith in all conditions this is our true north this is our base this is our markaz this is our foundation this is our point of return the axis all conditions that come for a believer no matter what there is never a loss a believer wins in all situations so when it condition comes no matter what the apparent losses may seem and be perceived we are not at loss ajabal li amril mu'min the matter of a believer is very marvelous it is amazing in amrahu kullahu lahu khair in amrahu all matters all matters kullahu khair is good for him wa laysa dhalika li ahadin illa lil mu'min and this is not for anybody else except for a believer for a person who's got iman whose yakin is strong he will benefit how if good things come to him if prosperity comes to him he expresses his gratitude to allah and fakana khairan lahu that is good for him that is beneficial for him that is exemplary for him and if asabathu dharra adversity befalls him what does he do sabara he endures it he exercises patience fakana khairan lahu and that is good for him so all matters are good for believe all conditions no matter what the apparent no matter what the outward seems 
it is good for a believer. So we have to have yaqeen that no matter what the condition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Isa alayhi salam, I will send after you an ummah that when difficulties come to them, they will praise Allah. And when calamities and difficulties come, they will be hopeful of reward from Allah and they will be patient and they will undergo that with composure. They will be enduring. Wala hilma, wala ilma. But they will not have forbearance or tolerance. So Isa Islam asks, Ya Rabbi, kayfa yakunu hadha lahum? Wala hilma, wala ilma. How can they have this? How will they manage this? Allah replied, Utihim min ilmi wa hilmi. I will give them from my forbearance, from my toler tolerance, from my knowledge. I will train them. That is this Ummah, that is you and me. So no matter what the loss, there's always gain for a believer. May Yuridullah be khayran, you said minhu, whom Allah loves and wants goodness. Allah puts them through trials and tribulations. Al Zahad to fit dunya. Who are the aesthetics, the devoted servants of Allah? Not those only who abstain from haram and who are cautious with regards to health, but they are those people bima fi yadik awthaq minka mima fi yadillah that you have more yakin in what Allah has promised than the solutions that you think so you can solve. You personally, your mind, your potential, your people, your resources, you believe firstly in Allah, then as Bab, one takuna fi thawabil musiba, and your gain of reward is more beloved to you than what you have lost. The hope that Allah will give me more than what I've lost, you have yaqeen in that. So, on the day of Qiyamah, the Shuhada will be brought and Hisab Kitab, etc. Then the generous Hisab Kitab. Those people who went through difficulties and hardships. فَلَا يُنْسَبُ لَهُمْ مِيزَان No scales. وَلَا يُنْسَبُ لَهُمْ دِيوان No book of deeds. فَيُصَبُّ عَلَيْهِمُ الْأَجْرُ صَبًّا So much rewards will be flooded on them, it will be showered on them, reward and ajr will rain on them and the condition will be such that the people who never went through any difficulty will wish anna ajsaadahum quridad bil maqarir min husni thawabillah they will wish when they see their rewards of those who are patient through all these difficulties, that their skins be shredded, their bodies be ripped apart, their bodies be munched into pieces when they see the rewards. So Allah and His Rasul have given us solution, solutions to every problem. We should find these solutions from Quran and Hadith. First, we should resort to this and then if we have extra time, then the mujarrib amal of the ulama and the mashayikh, when a situation falls, we can resort to that. But primarily, we should focus on the words of Allah and His Rasul. Firstly, we should fix a time for dua. Udur Allah wa antum muqinoon bil ijaba. Turn to the Salah, have yaqeen that your dua will be accepted, especially when you are in difficulties and you are in hardships, then know that your dua is accepted. We are looking for weapons, we are looking for artillery. Look for the biggest, the best, the strongest weapon that Allah can give anybody is the weapon of dua. So those mawaki opportunities times and moments when we can make dua and make a fesla between us and Allah for our dunya and akhirat. Let us engage in dua and let us have high hopes of Allah 
أن عند ظني عبدي بي I will treat my servant of the expectations he has for me according to expectations of Allah that's how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will treat you so have this conviction part of our dua is to ask Allah for this yaqeen because yaqeen is a great force is a great weapon for a believer and if he's deprived of this weapon then he has been deprived of a lot of goodness was aluka yaqeenan sadiqa ya Allah give me such yaqeen that is genuine that is real that is 100% truthful allahumma inni as'aluka imanan tubashiru bihi qalbi ya Allah give me such a uh, iman that is engraved in my heart wa yaqeenan hatta a'lam annahu la yusibani illa ma katabta li such yaqeen that I believe that whatever was going to come to me was definitely destined and it was part of my destiny. It could not be avoided one but give me such yaqeen that I believe that. Another dua wa min al yaqeeni ma tuawinu bihi alayna masaiba dunya. Such yaqeen that whatever calamities befall me it will become very very easy for me it will become very easy for me so different idea allahum arzuqna al yaqeen allah give us yaqeen wa husna dhan bika and high hopes of you wa la nalja illa ilayk such yaqeen that we don't turn to anybody else besides allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's why Nabi alayhi salam encouraging sahaba told the sahabi wa'alam anna al-ummata law ijtama'at ala ayyan fa'uka bi shayin if the whole of humanity get together to benefit you know and believe and have yaqeen they would not benefit you except what Allah has prescribed what Allah has decided and if they were together to harm you they would not be able to harm you except what Allah has decided. Ida salta, you have a need, fasalillah, turn to Allah. Ida stanta, you need to turn to anybody, seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rufiatil aqlam, the pens have been lifted, the pages have become dry. Wa alam, anna ma akhta'aka lam yakun liyusibaka. What has passed you was not going to come to you. It has passed, you were not supposed to get it. وَمَا أَصَابَكَ And what has come to you, what has befallen you could not be avoided. تَعَرَّفْ إِلَى اللَّهِ فِي الرَّخَى Recognize, acknowledge Allah in times of ease and prosperity. يَعْرِفْكَ فِي الشِّدَّةِ Allah will remember you in adversity. وَعَلَمْ أَنَّ النَّصْرَ مَا الصَّبْرِ If you want victory, it will come with patience. وَأَنَّ الْفَرَجَ مَعَ الْكَرْبِ And relief will come with affliction. وَأَنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَ And hardship will come with ease. Hardship will come with ease. So we should make dua for this yaqeen. We should also make dua for this afia. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect us in all conditions. Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah wal-mu'afata daima fi dini wa dunya wal-akhirah. So these different idea of afiyat, we should ask, be asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just remember, inna amrahu kullahu khayr. All conditions for a believer is good for him. Secondly, we should be patient. We should be patient in this condition. And thirdly, abstain from guna. All forms of guna, whether it's from the cell phone, whether it's from the television, whether it's a ghibat, whether it's backbiting, whether it is la yani, etc. Let us try to engage in ibadah and amal. Some ulama, when they were riots in India, went to Hazraji, Manana Inabul Hassan Ahtulah Alayhi, and they asked him for advice, 
He said, وَإِن تَسْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا That be patient and abstain from sin. The ulama say, Alan was made in every masjid and in India and a few days later the riot stopped and Allah brought peace. Tafsir as Saadi, the Mufassir has mentioned, فَإِذَا أَتَيْتُمْ بِالْأَسْبَابِ الَّتِي وَعَدَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهَا النصر, When you come to these means where Allah has promised success and victory وَيَسْصَبْرُ وَالتَّقْوَى These two qualities لَمْ يَذُرُّكُمْ مَكْرُهُمْ Their plotting will not harm you one but بَلْ يَجْعَلْ اللَّهِ مَكْرَهُمْ فِي نُهُورِهِمْ Allah will put their planning on their throats. Allah will make it turn. It will go against them. Whatever they plan will fail. You got Allah on your side. You don't need anything else. مَا مِمْ عَبْدٍ تُسِيبُهُ مُسِيبَ Number four, when a calamity befalls somebody and they read inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun then you should add this dua ya wa khlif li khayram minha Allahumma Allahumma ajurni fi musibati Allahumma ajurni fi musibati wa akhlif li khayram minha to read this dua Allahumma ajurni fi musibati O oh Allah, reward me in my difficulty in these trying times. وَأَخْلِفْ لِي خَيْرًا مِنْهَا Ya Allah, give me a better recompense. إِلَّا أَجَرَهُ اللَّهُ فِي مُسِيبَتِي Allah will give you a reward more than you can comprehend. وَأَخْلَفَ لَهُ خَيْرًا مِنْهَا Whatever you lost, Allah will definitely have yaqeen, give you better rewards. Number five, to strive in Allah's path. Deen is not logic. Logically, the man will go out in Allah's path, will look after our property, our houses, our women, our children, our assets. But you must remember, every person going out in the path of Allah is multiplied 700,000 times. Some ulama say 490 million times. Whatever it is, how much amal we can do compared to a person in a path of Allah? مثل المجاهد في سبيل الله والله أعلم بما يهاج جاهد في سبيل الله كمثل الصائم القائم Like a person who's fasting the whole day making ibadat continuously موقف الساعة في سبيل الله خير من قيام ليلة القدر عند الحجر الأسود Ibn Hibban has mentioned us رواية that a little while in the path of Allah is better than standing on the night of Qadr in front of the Hajr Aswad. لَغَدْوَةٌ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَوْرَاهَا خَيْرٌ مِّنَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا It's better than all the dunya and whatever it contains. We cannot compare to a person who is striving in the path of Allah. In Medina Munawara, people were turning renegade, murtad. River, uh, leaving the fall of Islam, people refused to pay zakah, they were false, false claimants of Nubuwa, and that was rising. Logic says, keep the soldiers there. Sahaba gave their rai. Hazrat Umar radiallahu also says, O oh, uh, Abu Bakr, Ya Khalifa Rasulillah, be, 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 be gentle, be calm, relax, there's no need to be so aggressive. What did Abu Bakr Rayyan say? لَوْ مَنْعُونِ إِقَالًا مِمَّا أَخَذَ مِنْهُمُ النَّبِيِّ لَقَاتَلْتُهُمْ عَلَيْهِ Even if they withhold an insignificant thing, a rope, an insignificant thing, I will make jihad, I will fight them till the end, till the last. And when Umar Rayyan gave him his rise, Hazrat Umar Rayyan, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Naqt Umar, a jabbarun fil jahiliya khawwarun fil islam. Are you a warrior and you are bold at the time of ignorance? You are bold at the time. Now you are weak, you are lame. What has happened to you? Anfidhu jaysha Usama. The jamaat of Usama will go. If the conditions turn out, however, the jamaat 
of Usama will leave. Anfidu Jaisha Usama. Umar Rajan said, For Wallahi, Mawa illa an qad shara Allahu sadra bi Bakr. Allah opened the chest of Abu Bakr Faraf to unknow al haq. Allah put it in the hearts of Saba. This was the right thing to do. In the time of Mawlana Ishmael, the Jamaats were sent to the riot areas, the areas where there was rioting and trouble. People objected. They said, Hazrat, how can you send Jamaats there? The Jamaats are at risk. He said, I'm not worried about the Jamaats. Allah's protection is with them. Allah's help is with them. The areas they are going to, I need the Jamaats there to draw the help of Allah. The people need the Jamaat. The Jamaat doesn't need the people. So we need to send walking Jamaats, pedal Jamaats that go out in a path of Allah, whether we, whatever we can manage, whether we can make the Masjid Itikaf in our own Masjid and spend Jamaat in our own Masjid, whether we can go out, it's possible outside the Masjid, the Masjid need to be made Abad, Khuruj Fi Sabilillah needs to come alive in the Ummah. We need Infiru Khifafo Wa Thiqala. In all conditions, we need to strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether it makes sense, whether it doesn't make sense, whether we can afford it, whether we can't afford it, whether we are rich, whether we are poor, whether we are healthy, whether we are sick, in all conditions, we need to strive and go out in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.